Then, 15 years ago, Richard Alley came to Greenland to study how our climate had changed since the last ice age. When we started working in Greenland, we knew we were on to something big. We really expected that we were going to find things that might surprise us. Greenland is like an ancient thermometer, a unique record of what has happened to the weather every single year for the last 100,000 years. It's all because the ice is preserved in layers. The further down you drill, the older the snow. If you took all these pieces of core that have been collected and put them end to end, they're about two miles long, and this is a sort of two-mile time machine. Each layer records what was happening in the Earth's atmosphere at the time the ice was formed. Whether it's the traces of a huge natural disaster or pollution from human activity, it's all frozen and perfectly preserved. We can see that this ice core is beautifully layered, and we can ask of it what happened, what was coming through the atmosphere at that time. Uh, is there ash and acids from a big volcano? Is there lead from Roman lead refining or what have you? So there's this history of what was blowing through the air and piling up on top of the Greenland ice sheet, sitting here in these beautiful layers. But the most important measurement preserved in the layers is the temperature. The ice that Ali brought back to the lab was, in effect, the annual weather reports since the beginning of the last ice age. What he was looking for was changes in the amount of so-called heavy water held in the ice. The basic rule, the more heavy water, the warmer the climate. If the conventional wisdom about climate change was true, then when he plotted the results, he would expect to see slow changes in heavy water as the world warmed and cooled during the last ice age. But that's not what he found. This flabbergasted us. I think this flabbergasted a lot of people. The changes were anything but slow. He saw that temperatures could drop suddenly and catastrophically. And it happened far more often than was predicted by the pattern of ice ages. <laughs> 